So I watched uh, Shazam, Fear of the Gods, which is the, the second film of the Shazam series that is in the DC Universe. Shazam 2 was dull, lame, and boring. Uh, most of the actors seemed like they were just doing minimum acting. I think the only people that was probably acting decent were the, the kids. Um, the the boy who turns into the main character, Suzanne, I think his role as acting was, was pretty decent. You know, it wasn't great by that script. I think he's a good actor. But the story, this, this, the whole script was just garbage, honestly. It was all garbage. Uh, Suzanne, played by uh, Zachary Levy, I think that's his name. Uh, I think he's, uh, outside of movies, I think he seemed like a cool guy. You know, he seemed like a cool guy who loves comics, loves like the action world. I just got that vibe from him. But he was too much of a kid as a, as a grown man. It, it, he, was, he, he played the part that the kid should be acting like. And the kid acting like the way the grown up should be. You know, they seem like they switch personalities. Um, the two main antagonists, um, uh, one was Helen, uh, Lucy Liu. Um, as far as their, their acting, they seem like they, they were just doing, very, they weren't acting as far as I see how they act in other films. I guess they probably read the script. They saying like this is probably just some. I think the person, the, the acting person who still took the show pretty well. Lucy Liu was pretty good. I think she took one of the, one of the actors in the film took the show, as well as the boy who had the clutches. Uh, they had he had more roles. Uh, he had more of a story in this one compared to the last film. Uh, all the other kids. Like, except for maybe like the daughter, I mean, except for the girl who was like 18, about to leave the, the foster care and, you know, go to college. She had like a little role. Um, the little black girl who transferred to uh, Fine Making Good. <laughs> um, only thing she's known for, I mean, she just make her just play like a real child. I mean, she could have had really better acting. I mean, we could have gave her a better role, a better script for her. But she only just focused on this candy. And that's pretty much it, you know? I mean, I don't know, you know, they supposed to make sure some type of comic relief, but, you know, it was just like QC comedy for her. You know, she was like, she played the innocence, which is understandable. You know, she's a kid. Uh, the Asian guy, Asian kid, you know, as far as him as a child, he barely had anything. <laughs> he barely had no role at all. I think the, then when he transformed, I think he had a, a bigger part, but he barely had anything. Only thing he had was, uh, don't go into that room <laughs> that was like blocked off and all that stuff. That was pretty much it. And then the the, the Hispanic guy, both of them. The, the 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 grown up one and the kid one, they had nothing. They had nothing in the first one, and they had nothing in the second one. Only thing different now is for the second one is that we now know that the young kid is gay because he he saw we saw a magazine of some muscle dudes with their shirts off, so he seemed like he you know into men and all that. But outside of that, I mean. The story was lame. Basically, those two, the two goddesses, you know, it's really three of them, but we'll get to that later. The two goddesses basically found uh, a, um, a, basically a MacGuffin that they can like restore their world, but they basically want to set that world on Earth, and then it's up up for up to Suzanne to stop it. Honestly, they could have just made it like, you know, a little bit like a B-rated version of Deadpool, you know, as far as the comedy, or or if they want to go extreme, they could have been like a kick-ass, you know, 
I mean, I know Kick Ass was, was dark, but those kids who play the role, I mean, like, and they can grow. I mean, they could took it that route. Um, but I say, like, uh, the, the, the actor, uh, D- I don't, I don't want to butcher his name, Digmon Busu, uh, who, who played the, um, the Warlock, who granted, uh, the kid's uh, ability, his powers, and Suzanne. You know, he was more of like a comic relief, relief. Uh, basically, he just, he was just dead, cause he just, he was the wizard guy. He basically the token black guy. <laughs> he was basically the token black guy, so, like, he just need, he need one token. I mean, you already got one black girl, you need, you know, at least another black, uh, black man. So, I mean, I mean, I guess he did his part what he was supposed to put, portray as. But more so, the story is more part. It's just with um, Billy plays Suzanne, the kid with the crushes, and the kid's newbound girlfriend, whose name was Anne. And Anne basically was the, was another goddess that was part of the trio of the other two women. I guess they represent like different ages and time, like like teenage. Uh, middle adult and elder adult, um, but as far as like the, the the funny parts from what I gathered, that was pretty funny to me was the two women. I think Helen and Lucy Liu were probably like that gave me a chuckle, you know, here and there. I mean, it wasn't that great of a chuckle, but they gave me a little chuckle here and there. But everyone else, you know, it was just blah, you know, blah. Uh, they had a cameo with uh, Wonder Woman, uh, which was, you know, I guess they were trying to like make the merger, so they're gonna have like some type of uh, Avengers sooner or later. I don't, I don't know who they're gonna face against. I guess the League of Doom, maybe. I don't know, but we don't even know what's going on with the whole thing with Superman, the Mark uh, Hamill, and as well as the Rock. <laughs> And I know what's going on with The Rock as far as him being like, seem like he's being a Queen Madonna. So, what he, well, from what I'm gathering, I don't know. I'm just, just gathering what I see on the internet. You know, I think this film was lame. I mean, it, it's good. It's, it's cool for young kids. I, I'd say that between the ages of 6 to like 12, you know, might, might, might like the movie. Uh, but, you know, people of my age, basically uh, adult, <laughs> will find it really, like, you know, just cheesy. And part of it was a little woke, you can say. A quote, quote, woke. Um, you know, basically all the women seemed like, you know, they had, like, they, they, they saved the day. Almost all the women had, like, like stronger powers than the men. They were controlling the men, like they were ruling over the men. And the men, and the men seem helping weak, or you know, lame, or they got killed off. You know, basically all the women were were like running the show in this film. I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, they had a post credits, you know, with the the bad guy from the first one that was dealing with like some type of centipede things like that. Which I think that's gonna be just, just stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the movie was weak. The story was garbage. The acting seemed like it was phoned in, except for by the kids. Uh, I know uh, Zachary Levi plays Shazam. I think his acting was good. Was good to, to, to what the script gave him. But he just made they made him too childish. You know, I mean, it has some scenes that you get emotional. I know he's supposed to play a kid, but the per- the kid who, who is the kid was more adult. <laughs> he sounded like he was, he was more he was more he was acting more mature than when he turned Shazam. So I I, I get this right now as far as one out of ten, ten being great, one being lame. I get this a, I get this like a solid like five. You know. It's something for you know kids to watch, but for adults, you know, just watch it like on HBO or something like that. 
And, well, that's all I can say about Sh- Shazam, Fear of the Gods. Uh, they're also going from, the, I guess, the next movie that's coming out for the the DCU is uh, the Flash movie. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm surprised they actually brought that man back in the film, especially, especially all the stuff he's doing. But I guess they're trying to fill this franchise and they need him. And I don't know how much they're going to get paid for them. Probably won't get paid like twenty million dollars. Probably that's how. And he's kind of like a known actor. It's just that you know he's acting dumb in the, in the world. You know you need to quit that crap. Because these days people can be replaced. So that's all I got the four Shazam for the gods. All right, this is Wiley from Gamer Blue. Talk to y'all later. All right.